Hello everybody, Starfield has been out for only 10 days and there is already over a thousand mods for the game. This can be a little overwhelming but don't worry, here is my top 5 mods you should try. Installation guide will be near the end of the video. The first mod on my list and it's probably the top of my list too is the Steam Deck Essentials mod. This is a performance mod and I play a lot of the game on Steam Deck because it's just more convenient for me. I just don't have the luxury to sit in front of the computer. So yeah, this uh, this is a killer city and normally without the mod, if you're playing on the Steam Deck, I get like it drops to the teens, like 15, uh, it rarely goes above 20. So with the mod on, I'm getting the low 20s. Uh, so it's a much smoother experience. So if you're like me and you play a lot of the game on Steam Deck, this is a must have. The second mod I'd like to recommend is Star UI Inventory. It just makes the inventory so much easier to go through. So it is the vanilla one. Uh, you can't see much. And even uh, your own inventory. Not even not at the shops. Uh, there's not much to see. You can only like you have to sort through the value, the mass, ammo. Yeah, that's very hard to see. Okay, so now I've got the mod installed. Let's take a look at it at the vendor. Um, I was looking at guns, so the weapons, you can see now it's like a spreadsheet and I can see all the information, all the critical information, like the quantity, the damage it does, damage per second, the mass value, what type of ammo, so I can see it all in one. So this is way more convenient than the vanilla one, so I'd recommend installing this mod. The third mod I'd like to recommend is the Remove Scanner Circle mod. As you can see, I took out my scanner and you can see there's a big circle and that's just for cosmetic. It doesn't do anything. All right, so now I have the mod installed and you can see I bring up the scanner and yeah, it's like not as clumsy now. I don't have a big circle in the middle of the screen. It's just got a small circle and highlighted the items that you can scan. So much cleaner look. And I really prefer this, especially on a small screen of the Steam Deck. It's just much, much cleaner. The fourth mod I'd like to recommend is the real flashlight. So this is the vanilla one. Uh, you can see this is the vanilla one. Uh, it's all right, but now I've installed the mod and take a look. See this? This is the new and improved flashlight. So in dark areas, like this is just way better. So you probably didn't know that you needed a new flashlight. But yeah, with this mod, the light is just better. And I think it like in dark areas, it really helps out a lot. So I really enjoy this mod and it's simple. All right, so the final mod I'd like to recommend is called Starfield FOV, Field of View. So it changes the field of view. So this is first person mode. So if, if I'm standing here, look at my spaceship, this is how much I can see the spaceship. And this is third person view. Uh, this is the second third person view, which is a little bit better. So we can change this. This is after I've installed the mod. So you can see that I've increased the field of view. This is first person. This is the third person. And this is the second third person. So you can see, like, I kind of prefer this way more. I can see more of the screen. This is personal preference. You can also change the values for the, uh, the FOV in the settings. But yeah, this is great. So if you're enjoying these mods and you'd like to install them, let me show you how to install them. Okay, so to install Steam Deck Essentials, go to the link in the description and when you go into the Nexus mod page, go to Files. And then there's three files we need to download. SD Essentials for the FPS UI, download this. And then SD Essentials INI Tweaks, so either one 
either the new experimental one or the stable one. I went with the experimental one. So either one of these. And then the third file is the SD Essentials VRAM. This is the 4.1 gig file. It's a big one. All right. So once you've downloaded these, locate your game folder. I have a non-Steam version. So open Proton Tricks. And then uh, here's my non-Steam shortcut for Starfield. So there's a number here. So what you do, go into your folder, go to Home. Then make sure the three lines here, you click it. And then make sure Show Hidden Files is checked. And then we're going to go into the hidden folder. Start Steam. Steam. Steam Apps. Compact Data. And then find that folder name. 3648. Okay, so 3648, this one. Okay, so inside is a prefix folder, drive C, and then you should see my game folder, Starfield, all right? So Starfield's here. All right, let's go back to our files. So I downloaded the files, um, Starfield 40 FPS, the first one. Okay, so this put into the game folder. So I'm gonna go into my game folder, go drag this data into it. Okay, and then I'm going to overwrite. Yes, that's done. And then the next one, next one, I've got uh, essentials. Oh, uh, no, the INI tweaks, new experimental. Okay, so I'm going with this one. So there's two folders. Uh, one is shadows, one is no shadows. You pick either one. So I'm going to go with shadows. That looks better. Uh, no shadows is uh, worse graphics, but you get 14% gain. I'm not going to go with that one. So go here and then also drag these files. I think you only need the load.ini, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with them all. So apply them all. So once you've installed all these mods, when you go into the game, make sure that you load the graphic settings and then the custom preset, you, you change it to something else and then go back to low so that, that the config kicks in. And then there's also a document. So you need this, you need to install into my documents. So in here, it's in on my drive C on users, Steam user, uh, my document, uh, documents are uh, my documents. And then my games, Starfield. Uh, yeah, we put the custom, Starfield custom.ini here, over right. Okay. And final file. The final file is here, the four gigabyte one, this one. Okay, Starfield directory. So we put the data folder and the Starfield.ini, put it into the game folder. So Starfield. Okay, so I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna highlight these both, drag them over. Uh, is it overriding? Yeah, I think it's writing. Okay. So yeah, once we'll just wait for that. We'll wait for that to do. And we also need to delete the shader cache. So the shader cache is in two locations. Okay, we have, have to overwrite. Overwrite. Okay. So it's copying. Okay. So uh First location, go to the drive C, users, Steam user, my documents, my games. Oh no, not my game. Sorry, my documents. Is it here? No, sorry, sorry. Let's do it again. Uh, C drive, users, Steam user, app data, local, Starfield. And yeah, there should be a folder here. I think I deleted it. Yeah, there should be a file here. So delete this, delete this file. And then there's also another place is in Steam apps. Go back to the Steam app. So home.steam, Steam, Steam apps, where the compact data folder is. There's also a folder called shader cache. So locate the folder for Starfield. So remember the here, 3648. Okay, so it should be 3648. Okay, okay, so I, I, I cleaned out also. So clean out these two folders. That's how you delete the shader cache. Make sure you clean out the shader cache. And then once that's done, 
you can go into game mode and run the game and then make sure your preset the graphics you you go to like maybe medium and then you go back to low and make sure that the INR config files kick in all right that's how you do it that was the harder mod to install now you've got that done the others should be really easy so let's continue so star ui inventory to install this mod go to the link in the description so it brings you to nexus mods and you need to add this into your ini file um i had to add it to my starfield.ini it this tells you to go to starfieldcustom.ini so where where is it we've been there before so let's go there again so drive c and then users steam user my documents my games starfield so we have a starfieldcustom.ini here all right so we have to add this archive and then b invalidate all the files equals one and then s resources data directory final equals nothing like just, just like that. i'll leave it in the description you can copy it here but um i put it here and i and it didn't work so i also put it in my starfield so c drive starfield so in my game folder i've got a starfield.ini so if if you put it in the other place and it didn't work see i put it here also so at the end of the archive the bracket archive i put the two lines here as well and that worked for me so once you've got that go to the files and then download star ui inventory so i already have mine downloaded so it's here star inventory it's a zip file and then transfer this interface folder into the data folder so starfield data inside here just put the whole interface folder in and you're good to go so that's done all right so we can close this for remove scanner circle this mod go to the link below i have a link and once you're in the nexus mod page here there's three versions vanilla 60 fps and 120 fps since i'm playing on the steam deck i'm just going to use the vanilla 30 fps so same thing you need to do this archive you need to put it into ini this this uh code so we've already done that so all we have to do is just download the files so there's a few different files i got the vanilla one so in my downloads remove scanner circle vanilla same thing so this is the data so we just go back to our game folder and we can just drag the data folder in here and we're gonna override it because i already did it that's what i'm you don't probably you don't have to overwrite so that's done easy okay we can close this the real flashlight all right so let's take a look it's the same thing you do that Bethany Pi thing. Uh, so put the code in the INI and then we just download the real flashlight mod. So there's two of them. There's one is one is softer. I did the real flashlight. So same thing, go to my downloads, real flashlight, see the data. But this time we're not gonna put it into the we're not gonna put it into the game file folder. We're gonna put it into the my documents currently the game loads textures from this location because of the data textures directory used by photo mode so yeah make sure of that so let's go back to our my documents so drive c users steam user my documents my games starfield and here so in here we just drag the folder data and it puts it here so that's done easy all right the final one starfield fov this is even easier uh there's nothing to download really because if you download it's got to overwrite your folder so you have to put it in starfield custom ini so we put this code in here's the code 
So we're already in this directory. So starfield custom.ini, let's open it up. And then at the end, see here, I put camera. Uh, that's the code. I'll leave it in the description if you're lazy to copy it from the website. So yeah, that's it. That's how you install all the mods. So I hope this video helped you out. These are my best, like the top five for me. If you have other mods that you'd recommend, please leave me uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, I'd really like to know and like to try them out. But these are the mods that I'm using. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.